looking for Big Mitch Baker. Who's looking? Tommy Rossetti. Rossetti? You don't look like the law, so that's bought you a minute. Better talk fast. Ken Ball said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Ball? Shit. <laughs> no wonder he sent you. Last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. How do I join? This ain't no country club, boy. You handle a bike, you sit on a stool and drink. Cougar, Zeppelin, go see how this girl handles the bike. you again. Hey, Rossetti. Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I gonna have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's gonna sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, all right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right. I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during Nam Ugly Business. Which is why I'm gonna ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. See how good you can fight for your patch. The local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. Probably because of some machismo thing or something. Me and the boys would go over there and teach them a lesson in respect and all. Anyways, then I got to thinking. This would make a good initiation for you. You get my bike back, you can tell Paul he's got his security. Come on. Come on, come on. That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone. You didn't kill him, man, and now he's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, the thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making threats. Shell me, I need my mom. We're all breaking ourselves, man. Okay, guys, calm down. I'll handle this. Normally, I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals, but in your case, I'll make an exception. Oh, 
Listen, man, time for a well earned drink. Are you finished? Just a hundred yards to the road, man? Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused if my head's not banging. Ah, oh, look, what's this? Hey, Tommy, stick this tape on. No fist. Your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode along with your big airy asses. Tommy, pal, you've got to save the band. I'm getting bored of this. Just keep the pedal to the metal. Go to find it, Bob. Can't we just drive around all day? I was getting plenty to drink. The bomb may be in the engine. We need to stop to get. We're all going to die. I'm going to get pushed. Hey, there's a queue here, pal. Come in. I'm just near the drinks cabinet. Go in my way. Hey, the vodka bottle's got wires coming out here. That's no vodka. That's boomshine. Why have to blow? Oh, he said the drink would kill me! I've seen this on the telly. You can't pull out one of the wires. Which wire? I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. Willie, she should be. I'm gonna play bass in hell. Tommy, man, keep driving fast, pal. Somebody do something. I clever. Somebody do something for kind of crap he's at. I've seen brave queens. Okay, tough guy, you do something. Look, man, I play a musical instrument, and I have a clue about bomb disposal. Well, he could just slip him shine out with a straw. I have heard that you're good at that kind of thing. Uh, hey, close off my tits that night as well, you know. Just pass Willie a straw. I a straw? This is a love face to a bus. What am I going to get a straw fake, eh, baby? Which way, Tommy? The green one. There isn't a green one. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, is this a green one? Any of these wires look green to you? Oh, net death in the car, I'm sorry, it looks green! I should have dumped you a lot when I had the chance, man. Glory seeker. Capitalist! I've been carrying you for years. Shut up, you muppet! Big screaming girl. Aye, shut it, the pillow wire. Which wire? This one. No! Man, we're okay. We ain't been blown up. Tommy, my nice one. Rock and roll, man. And we got a gig to go to. A racket to make groupies to abuse. Oh, oh fast. fast. Oh, fast. Oh, fast. Have you finished with our ball? Say, hey, man. Hey, easy, papi. This man's for me. You! You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, papi. Look at him. All dressed up like that. What is this? Ladies' night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little bitty chiquita ones.
Hey, I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. Man, you the man, man. I like you, man. I like you a lot. Anytime, man, because you got cojones. And all my friends, they got big cojones. You got big cojones, amigo. Papi, no hay problema, Tommy. Papi, un gran problema. Humberto, my son, what happened? Un gran problema. They messed with me. They messed with me for the last time. What is your problem? We'll take him out. Only we need some backup. I lost a few hermanos already out there. Amigo, you drive good. For a woman, right? This is no time for joking. Come on, drive for me again. Amigo, take my boys over there. But they mess with me, they mess with the biggest boy in town. I say no to that, man. We're gonna fight like men! Hey, I'm here. Good to see you can make it! Charge! Now, my brother, charge! Sniper on the roof! They fight like girls! Take cover! We need reinforcements from the cafe! Take out that cowardly sniper! With huge cojones! Tommy, we have proved our mental bravery. Let us steal a van full of drugs and make a good escape. The mission was the king. You want more of this? Alberto, go to cafe, Papa. senor. Don't serve the snake in the sauce. You're two-faced, Tommy. You're either two-faced or you're a whip, baby boy. They're laughing at me. Easy, easy. What's your problem? They're laughing at me, Tommy, at me, Humberto Rubino. They're doing whatever they like. Nobody does whatever they like, Humberto. They do what you let them do. What? You want somebody taken care of? I can handle it, but it's going to cost you. I know we're brothers and all, but this is business. Tommy, you a real man. Businessman, a gentleman. They have a load of product coming in offshore. Really good stuff. We take it, and we finish them. You take it, and I look after you. Like my brother. Like my son. I think I prefer the cash to being bounced on your knee, amigo. Hey, Rico, nice boat. You ready? See, si, Tommy, now you be a good shot today. My boat, she no good, full of holes, okay? From pristine wetlands, away from the noise and uninvited diversity of the city. Shit. And when you buy into that feeling that is shady acres, not only do you get a luxurious 5,000 square foot condo with underground parking for your. Man, I saw the.
Wow! Come in, my dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now, we all dead from long time, but you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I got a message to come here. Can you hear them? Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now, you do all Auntie Pulea Turner, maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the llama and the stink eye. Mm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? I, I, I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tommy. The nasty, proud foo foos. Mm. Been making my boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Poole. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Muscle chump. I will get you his finger. You really want to fight? Sorry, I, I must have the wrong address. Well, you might as well come in and rest your souls and have some tea. Do you have something there for me, Tommy? Yeah. This place feels familiar to me. Uh, it's a, a smell from childhood, a deja vu. Now, Tommy, I'm going to whisper a little errand for you. Hear me well, I. You look like someone I... I... Them have fast boats they use to cross the seas with drugs. It is their livelihood. Me nephew been making little flying bombs to take them out. Blow the boats to coffin wood. Thanks for the tea. for somebody around here. You're looking hungry, Tommy. Do I know you? Hush now. One more thing and I can let you go, Tommy. My boys gone war with them boys, but no guns. While they fight in the streets, you will take this rifle. No one sees you, no one hears you. Now, Tommy, you do this for me. And you no longer tie to my apron strings. Okay, Auntie.
white lady. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to make love like a man. You know that, Chica? Something like this. Hey, baby! I oh wouldn't God. touch you with a ten foot pole. Humberto Rovina, he likes the lady, so not funny. some goat in a skirt. Tommy, Tommy, I love you. I love you. Let's go. <laughs> go where? Can I get a cup of coffee first? No time for coffee. Besides, I just had one. Oh. Tommy, how do you take out a snake? You bite him in the ass. <laughs> you go and get us a little car. When you get it, come back and pick up my boy, Pepe. And take them out to such and such. Their processing plant. Whatever you say, Humberto. Hey, Tommy! Tommy! Use their solvent as an explosive. Boom! Bye-bye! Humberto, what about you? Uh, I'm going to stay behind and watch over that cafe with Papa. He not feeling so good, you know? The last thing I needed was this. Maybe the last thing I needed was an enema, but this comes close. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Hola, amigos. Oye, the summit is around the back, amigos. Bueno, puta. Muerto. Vamos. Vamos, indeed. Follow my compadres. Okay, in you go. Going to plant the bomb, cover me. the cafe. Oh, wonderful. In incredible, Tommy. Incredible. No whims, Tommy. Just real men. And the beautiful women. Anyway, I wanted to tell you, me and Papi, to us, you're Cuban. You have proved yourself, man. You got big cojones. Well, thank you, Humberto. Nobody said that to me since I left jail. See you around. Mr. Mercedes? Hey, you bought the old print works? Yeah, my old man used to work on these. I used to spend the evenings with him cleaning the rollers. I was gonna follow him in his trade, but I lived a different life. You planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. There's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, with just rumors is all I've heard. I know a man who's good with rumors.
look at the ass on that. <laughs> oh, Alright, girls, your loss, mate, innit? Alright, me old China. That's hanging. What do you know about counterfeiting? Oh, I'm fine, Paul. How about you? Oh, alright, alright, alright. You're obviously a busy man. All I know about dodgy reddies is to try and supply the plates. Ah, oh, fuck! You know. They've got a shipping company down the docks. Ah, uh, uh, the boss man would know when the plates are coming in next. Thanks, Paul. What's the matter with you, you maniac? Give me another drink, lively. I don't think so. Who are you? Oh, I know the face, know the face. Oh, I talk, I talk. You little wimp. All right, the courier's moving the plate from the docks today. I'm going to go intercept them, grab the plates, lose any heat, and make my way back here. Now, depending how well this goes, we may have five minutes to print the money before the counterfeit syndicate finds us, or we may have all year. Either way, I want green rolling off the presses five minutes after I get back. Got it? Don't you worry, Tommy. We'll be ready. Me and the boys will be around in the neighborhood in case you need any heat taken care of. All right. Everybody cool? All right, I'll catch you later. Sonny. How busy you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. You won't where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gun? Are you new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. <laughs> Action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are. poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art. Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you, wow. What's that guy think this is, some free art crap? Geez, like anyone ever watch movies about fish? Yo, Candy, I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure, but you'd have to talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have stayed at home today. Can you believe this, asshole? Mercedes, 
Hey, Tommy, you want a party? Now, now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> You're hired. Get in. These shoes are like total murder. Hey, Tommy, you coming in for a warm-up? Maybe later, babe. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras Pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. After his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then we... Don't give a crap about that! Just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem on the phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the more fleshy aspects of this nation's great entertainment industry. Okay, all right. Okay. Candy, okay, you know Shrub. Do you guys get up to anything kinky? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. All right, then. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Candy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Got that. Was that part of the, uh, was she talking to? Hey, I can never tell. Anyway, you're probably best following her after the shoot. See if she'll lead you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah, get him a camera. Martha, someone's watching. How kinky.
I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But, Stevie... How's my star director? Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping <sighs> action continues unabated. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, uh, ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the barrage of lights. Tommy, hey Tommy, look at this. This is great. I've got us this mini bar installed. We got a whole bar downstairs, Ken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. The ability to follow instructions. No, I need a safe man. Oh, all right, well, let me think. Safe, safe, safe. I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, nah, that schmuck, he's on the inside. Where inside? And a police headquarters cell awaiting transfer. I think he's about to get paroled. Hey, get him! Only authorized personnel beyond this point! I'm trying! <laughs> Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. Lose your heat and get me back to my place. Somebody tell me where to go. I'm gonna be doing a job, and you're my safe cracker. Beats losing my ass in his cell. We need a stick-up man, you know one? Hey, Tommy! Tommy, Tommy, this stuff keeps you sharp, man. Woo! I could be your stick-up man. Stick him up! Stick him up! You ain't a stick-up man, you're an idiot. Now get yourself a drink and shut up. Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, 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 ow, ow, ow. Relax. Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range.
Cassidy? Why? I'm looking for a man who can handle a gun. In this setup, I'm not too convinced. Son, I can shoot a fly off your head at 80 feet. Oh, really? Yeah, I learned it in the Army. Fly shooting real popular in the Army? Glad I don't pay tax. You trying to be funny, kid? <laughs> the shoot! So, you want to do me a favor and help me put together a job? Son, after shooting like that, if you asked me to be your wife, I'd say yes. Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart-talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. What do you say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues? Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You Tommy? Oh. Oh, of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. I'll drive for you, but please tr treat me bad. As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. <laughs> Tommy, seriously, you gotta consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. We got Cam on safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive the getaway car. I, I don't... Car. Uh... <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like... Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank. We wave the gun around and leave very rich men. I'll drive. Great! A passenger! Wait till I tell the group about this. Keep driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. This is a raid! Ah! Nobody move! Ah! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that! Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. It's a flangy 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find a manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot.
It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. I told you not to touch that alarm! The SWAT team will be here any minute. I could do with some help here, Tommy! Surrounded? <laughs> They're prepping themselves. Corrupt bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! Him a better issues. Hey guys, get in! I got you covered. Mercedes? Yeah, I'm a little tense. What'd I tell you, Tommy? What'd I tell you? Ben Swap better watch out when Ken Paul is in town. Come on, give me a bigger slice, mate. Come on, I got this some new friends. Tommy, 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 I had Sonny on the phone, okay? Are you with me? I don't know about you, but there's something about a man threatening to murder my family which really scares the crap out of me. What are you gonna do? Ken, take it easy. I am calm. Calm as a man can be when he's fearing for his life. Stay off the idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am calm. Don't I sound calm? Must be impending death that is doing this to my voice. Hey, hello, Tommy, Tommy. We got a situation over at Printworks. You better go and check it out. I don't know, some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up. I gotta go. Okay, what's the emergency? Oh, who? Oh, Tommy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think they were very Holy insistent. Up. I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too. What's going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I like fish. I love fish. I love them as pets in bowls, or as food on a plate, but as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I- Shut up, Ken! Sit down! Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, 
You get the first run of counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. Tommy! Why? No big hugs for your old buddy. I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty on family <laughs> etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man. One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, son. Tommy! Watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? Sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No, I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out! The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I'd just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. I just wanted to piss you off before I kill you. One to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? You're going down, you backstabbing prick. Oh, you think so? Come here, you double-crossing piece of shit! Oh. Your history, Tommy! History! You took 15 years from me, Sonny, and now I'm gonna make you pay! You still don't get it, do you? I own you, Tommy. Those 15 years were mine to spend. Get him, boys. He never understood a thing. <laughs> it was only gonna end like this. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy, what, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit, and Tommy, that was a beautiful suit. Tommy, what on earth happened? I had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy, I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Cause there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful? Man?